Amy and I'm here with Ava and we just finished walking on the walking trail getting our 5k steps in I'm almost 5k um, I just wanted to do a quick check-in and say hi to everyone um, just also to let kind of let you know how I've been doing on my strict keto and I've been doing really good and I have to say I've really been noticing some change one of the changes I've noticed is my stomach is way flatter. Um, I don't know if maybe the collagen was giving me a little bit of inflammation because of the maybe the beef, you know, the, the bovine that's in it. Um, that could have been an issue that maybe my stomach didn't like it. So I'm noticing um, a lot flatter tummy. My legs feel thinner. So I am noticing the scale. My face looks thinner to me too when I look in my videos um, the scale hasn't gone down drastically but I think I've gone down a couple of pounds um, I'm not gonna do any serious weigh-ins I'm kind of trying to stay away from the scale but I do get on here and there um, I'm just trying to focus on you know keeping my calories between 13 1400 or less and then every few days I'll do a higher calorie day just to kind of shock my body a little bit. I am checking my ketones and my glucose. My ketones are much higher. I had uh, someone comment in my group asking me if I, how are my ketones so high uh, during my menstrual cycle? Well, I had posted um, my menstrual cycle. I had posted my ketones right at the very beginning of a menstrual cycle but I think it was because it was the very beginning. I just hadn't plummeted yet. And they had asked if I used um, like ketone powder, like exogenous ketones. And no, I do not. I have never used exogenous ketones to uh, get high ketone readings. Um, I've tried, uh, a friend sent me um, a little packet of exogenous ketones and I tried it just to see what it tasted like. And it tasted good. Um, but I didn't really notice my ketones go up after that. That was that was like a year ago, I think. But no, I don't use exogenous ketones, those ketone readings. And I wouldn't really feel right about posting my ketones, my ketone reading, if I knew that there was exogenous ketones in there. Like, I wouldn't do that. So... Um, and then I tested my ketones like the next day on my menstrual cycle and yep, they were down. I was like at 0.3. Um, I'm going to test them again today. I'm like, um, halfway through my cycle. So I'm going to test them again today and see if, how we're looking. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. We're going to go get some drink and maybe I'm going to get a Wendy's salad. It is four o'clock and I have not eaten anything today. So that will be my first meal. And yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know I've, I've been doing really good with the strict keto. No treats, cookies, bars, that kind of stuff um, during the week. I'm trying to save that for the weekend with the exception of starting my cycle on um, Thursday. I think it was Thursday or was it Wednesday? I did have a little bit of enlightened ice cream. So I did break my, I would have gotten a sad face on that day on my chart. But you know what? That's what happens. Life happens. So, but yeah, I've been noticing some changes. So I'm going to stick, I'm going to keep going with that plan for a little while longer and see how we do. So I just wanted to give you guys that update. Please be sure you check my um, uploads, my videos, because I have uh, only two now, because one just closed. I have uh, a giveaway for chipmunk cookies, and then I also have um, a giveaway for uh, Catching Ketones Coffee Creamer. So make sure you enter those, and yeah. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys later, and I'll let you know what we're up to. So I got my salad. I got three packages of the cheese crisps. Yeah. Check out Wendy's, guys. Their salads are so good with these cheese crisps. Like, they're amazing. And then I got two of their dressings. They're kind of small. And here's the salad. I thought 
stuff they didn't give me a fork I was gonna be like oh no you didn't but they did so here's the salad here's what it looks like it's grilled chicken and Parmesan cheese and then I put all those crisps on there and they're really really good um, Ava's over here eating carbs so we'll just not even look at her she's enjoying herself trust me <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to have this salad and I'm thinking about when we get home, I have a couple recipes I want to make and record. I'm thinking about a chaffle casserole that I want to make and another bunt cake, bunt cake. Um, I gotta, I gotta get busy making some pies too with my pie maker. I have so much to do, so much to do. Um, I got some new, um, I got some cool things in today from the mail. I got my new Ellie workout outfit, which is so pretty. I will show you guys if I remember. And then I got, um, these boxes for this, it's like an Ikea bookcase kind of thing that I have out in my room. And I got these boxes that I'm thinking of using to store all of my workout clothing in because I'm starting to get quite a bit and it's really hard to find. I don't really have a dresser. I really do need to get a dresser, but I thought this would work in the meantime so I could organize all my workout clothes. Um, because like today we went walking and I haven't been walking. I haven't been doing my exercises. So my little chart, if I could print it out, my printer broke, I need a new printer. My poor little chart would have a lot of sad faces because I haven't been doing my workouts. I haven't been walking. I've been doing the eating part okay. There's an exercise bike we're supposed to go look at, look at on um, on the mark, Facebook Marketplace nearby that hopefully I can get. It's a pro form uh, recumbent exercise bike because you know what? I need to stop with the excuses. I have to have. I have to be able to. Get my, get my exercise in. I just need to. And I really need to do the leg exercises and the squats and the muscle toning and all of that. So I just need to get, I just need to do it. No excuses. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat the salad and I will talk to you guys later when I get home and hopefully have some more things to show you and get some recipes going because I'm really hungry for a chaffle casserole. If you guys haven't seen my last truffle casserole was a Philly cheesesteak truffle casserole that was amazing. I'll list the video for you to check out. So good. And so I definitely plan on making more of those because they're very filling. They're perfect for a bigger family. Awesome. So just really good. So just check, check out that uh, recipe if you get a chance. All right. I'll see you guys later when we get home. You know, I said earlier I would show you the boxes I bought. I bought, I think I have uh, six or eight of these. I don't remember exactly, um, but I got these off of Amazon, and they're really sturdy. They're actually really sturdy. They came with these little cards for labeling, but I'm not sure exactly how you put the labels in. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, so these are really nice. I think these will make a nice little kind of workout clothes dresser for messy little bookcase here see it's all a mess so i think that'll make it look a lot nicer so yeah all right here is my new workout from ellie let me get these opened i had to get them all opened up so here's my new workout um outfit that i got from ellie um and this is like a really pretty little hoodie and it has really nice long sleeves. I think this might have, yeah, it has the thumb holes. I like those a lot. It's just a really pretty kind of a sage green color. And then here is the bra top. It's so pretty. It has a really nice bra top in it. I love it. And there's the back. And then here are the matching leggings. And these are high rise. So they come up nice and high on the waist. And the fabric is so soft. It's so soft. So I'm so excited to wear this. And I love getting my Ellie subscription because I get really cute, matching, high quality outfits every month. So yeah. So now I just got to get organized and get all my outfits organized in my boxes. And then I will be good to go. No excuses. I should be able to get out there and get my workouts in. <laughs>
All right, guys, so for dinner, I'm having a chip chipotle bowl. This has um, pork, cheese, um, some, it's supposed to have some queso sauce, but I don't think I see it, lettuce, um, and some salsa. So that's gonna be my dinner. All right, guys, so I checked my glucose on the new Mojo 117. I don't think I've ever seen my glucose that high. Checked it on the old Mojo 96. Ran another test on the new Mojo and I got 96. So I don't really know why I'm getting such crazy numbers. Um, and then my uh, ketones was 0.7. So I'm starting to see my ketones rise back up. They were 0.3 this morning. Um, and I am in the middle to the tail end of my cycle. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, but I don't know about the glucose on this. I've never had real hot anything like too far over 100, like 103, but never, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever seen 117. Maybe when I very first started keto. And I was a mess, but yeah, so there's my ketones and glucose readings. All right, let's see what the keto coach has to say about this situation. Point nine. So I got numbers somewhere between 0.7 and 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, I don't know. What do you do? Take the average of those three and that's your ketones? Maybe. I don't know, but I'm somewhere in that ballpark. Right, guys so I didn't make it home to make any food or recipes but I did make it uh, to Save Mart and I have a huge grocery haul for you guys so I'm just going to show you everything that we got this is the keto stuff I'm not going to show you the non-keto stuff so we got sour cream I picked up a big bottle of liquid aminos because I want to make a lot of dishes um, you know using uh, this type of stuff in it. And I also got this one. This is coconut aminos. So I got both of those. This one does have soy. It's made from soy, but you know, usually you don't use a lot of it. I got white cooking wine. I got two packages of the Truvia Sweet Complete. Here's the ingredients. So erythritol, chicory root fiber, that does bother some people, and stevia leaf extract. And I got one package of Swerve confectioners, and this one has erythritol, prebiotic, something, something, and natural flavors. And then we got some diced olives. They had these, this is um, from Save Mart. So they had some jalapeno cheese, uh, just the cheese. We got some raspberries and blackberries. I'm gonna be doing some pies with my new pie maker. And of course I stocked up on a bunch of two good yogurts. They were on sale, but they were out of the, the black cherry. So I got blueberry, raspberry, and more blueberry. Picked up a little creamy horseradish and then my favorite ranch dressing, one of my subscribers told me to try this, and you are right, this is the best ranch, Bob's Ranch Country. And so I picked up two jars of the ranch. Here is um, the back side here. Here is the ingredient. So it's probably, you know, it's vegetable oil, and yeah, it's, it's dirty, but it is the best tasting. And I also picked up a, uh, I'm not sure how you say that, Roquefort cheese dressing. Um, we picked up some of this. We all love this. Two bags of ranch sunflower seeds. I love the cauliflower risotto medley that has asparagus and mushrooms. It is so good. Picked up a walnut oil. I've been wanting to try this for so long. Sarah at Pearls of Wisdom, this is like her favorite thing, and I finally got some. So I'm pretty sure it was walnut oil that she uses. I'll have to go ask her, but um, yes, she always made her salad dressing with this, and it's delicious, and it was on sale. And then I got two bags of 
fancy Parmesan cheese. And our Save Mart has Milkadamia, which I absolutely love. So I picked up unsweetened vanilla and I picked up four of these. The great things about this is you do not have to store it in the refrigerator until you open it. So this can go in my pantry. And then I found this sauce. This is so neat. Avocado jalapeno. And check out the ingredients on this. It's so clean. Onion, avocado. I'm having a hard time reading it. Uh, cilantro, parsley, green pepper, water, avocado oil. I mean, it's just really clean. Nothing wrong with this at all. And they have Primal Kitchen there. So I picked up this Chipotle Lime Mayo. Again, this is one of the cleaner ones. So yes, I'm going to try this out. Never had it before. If you've had it, let me know if you like it. Um, I don't think we've ever had the sugar-free Italian dressing from G. Hughes, so I grabbed that. And a balsamic vinaigrette. I love balsamic, so I thought that one would be really good. And then we got a couple of sugar-free ketchups. We got two. Um, let's see. I think I went all the way over there. So now we're moving this way. Got a bag of frozen spinach because I plan on doing a recipe with that. Picked, these are on sale. These are little ham steaks, Farmer John ham steaks. We love Farmer John hams. We always have. These are two steaks in here. They're just so good just to fry up. You could even make a chaffle sandwich with these. They were $2.49 for this package of two decent sized little steaks. And we had these before and we absolutely loved them. Jalapeno and, and pepper jack cheese sausages these are really delicious really good um i needed more egg whites and i got some curry powder because i love to make curries plan on doing some recipes making some curries um okay so then we picked up two diet dr peppers two packages of pepper jack cheese sticks um, this combo pack, well, they're just meat and cheese sticks, salami and cheese, and Colby Jack and turkey sticks. Okay. And then over here, I picked up these. These are jalapeno cheddar smoked sausages. These were also on sale. I don't remember how much they were, but they looked really good. Okay, and then... I picked up, I found these Parmesan Mrs. Cubisons, if I'm saying that right. Parmesan crisp. And these were very clean ingredients. Parmesan cheese, part skimmed milk, cheese cultures, sea salt, enzymes. There we go. I wasn't even focused. So yeah, these are really good. And I got cheddar as well. So that's those. We got some green onions. Some um mushrooms and then i was really excited about this deal this was buy one get one free and i thought that was an excellent deal so top round steak buy one get one free so i got one free so that brings it down to pretty cheap and then i had this they had a bunch of buy one get ones look how big this is so i got this one and then i got another one right here so Yes, so awesome. Also picked up a package, a big family pack of pork chops. These are boneless. I want to try them in the air fryer. Super excited. Oh yeah, I have another video, but here's a peek at my new air fryer. It's the Keys and Art toaster oven and air fryer. I have a air fryer. I have a video I will be editing showing this. So, and a recipe and I, I made some chicken wings in it. So, I'll show that in a separate video. But yes, I finally got an air fryer. And then I picked up two things of chicken broth. And that is it. That is my haul. We finally have a bunch of new stuff and some of the things I was out of like the yogurts I absolutely love. Um and tomorrow I will be able to make some recipes with a lot of this. So, that's my haul. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, please stick around. I would love to have you follow me along on my journey and hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, 
and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. I hope that you find